This is a brief overview video of week 10. For your assignments, you have the Smart Book Chapter 8, Course Participation and Diversification Strategy, the quiz for Chapter 8, Case Study Beyond Meat in 2022, the Global Simulation 3 Year Strategic Plan for Years 12 through 14. Now, of course, this is very similar to the one that you completed earlier in the semester, the Global Simulation uh, Module 10 Report, and the Global Simulation Decisions for Year 12. So let's go ahead and jump into the outcome of year 11. Here's the year 11 scoreboard. As you can see, team D is still in first place at 106. They gained a point. Team A, they dropped nine points, dropped down to 91, but they're still in second place. Team C gained a point, still in third. Team B lost a point, still in fourth. So the standings have not changed, but what you will see that did is the difference. Okay, so D was in first last week, A was in second, C was in third, B was in fourth. You would say, okay, well, no big deal, exact same standings. Well, you got to look at that weighted average score. Team D is at 106, Team A is at 91. So if I didn't know any better, I was like, oh, okay, well, Team D you know, knows something that someone else doesn't. But throughout the semester, everyone was pretty close. The difference is Team D is not letting off the gas. As you can see, they gain only one point, but that's the difference. You know, sometimes all it takes is gaining a point or even staying even, like I said before, to hold your lead or even increase your lead because now since team A dropped nine points, you know, team D's got a nice cushion now. So if we go ahead and look at the game to date scoreboard, team D is at a 108, team A is at 97. Okay, so it's 11 points. You're, you're still within range, Team A. So, you know, by no means give up. Okay, you're, you're, you still can do this. You still can win this simulation. All it would take is you have a good year and Team D to dip. Now, I wouldn't bank on Team D to dip, so I would really just challenge yourself to try to really enhance your um, decisions and try to, to make up more ground. Uh, team C, you're at 96, so you're right behind Team A now. So what I just said about Team A applies to Team C. I mean, you're only 12 points away, so only one more than Team A. So then again, you know, if you continue moving in the right direction, because you only gained one point, but you didn't lose any points this week, you know, you still got a great chance. Now, Team B... You're at 86, and you did drop one. You couldn't afford to drop one. And I've always said, be 90 or above, that makes me feel confident that you know what you're doing. You're at 86. So if you continue dropping, unfortunately, you won't receive points for your decisions because I won't have much faith in them. You will, you know, this week, because you only dropped one, so that's not too bad. But um, if you come out next week, you're... 12 and you drop five yeah you won't be receiving points so this is the challenge to you team b is make sure you're going to show me that yes you're, you're in this game um, do i think you could get first place uh, well who knows i mean we still have several weeks left uh, but to me your goal should be to get out of fourth place you know if you end up third that, that's a huge accomplishment you know because right now you're down 10 points from c so your mission should be like, hey, let's at least try to get third. And if we if we continue on, maybe we get second, maybe we get first. But take it one step at a time. But uh, overall, you know, I'm, I'm still pleased with everyone. Uh, 86 is a little bit below that I like, but still within that range. The reports for some teams, tremendous. I'm loving it. Uh, you're doing a great job. For other teams, I'm providing the feedback, and I just don't feel like you, you're not taking into account the feedback or you don't care about the feedback. I mean, you're not going to change your reports no matter what. And what I'm getting at is your report should have a nice cover page. It's easy to do. I'm not asking for the world here. And your report should be formatted in a professional manner. It shouldn't look generic. You know, it should have some nice charts and graphs and images. Does it have to have all of that? No, but it should have some of it. And it definitely should have a cover page. So keep that in mind. Uh, but then again, for, for teams who are doing um, excellent reports, you already know that because 
I make sure that I put that comment in there. You know, especially if you have the best report of the week. You know, I say, hey, by the way, this is the best one I've seen. Uh, and sometimes I'll put this is the best one I've, I've ever seen. So keep that in mind. You know, if I make that comment, I, I mean every every word of it. Uh, and uh, continue to challenge yourself, though. Just because I'm saying you have a great report, don't just mimic the same report over and over. Try to mix it up a little bit. Uh, now, with that said, it's not mandatory, um, but why not? You know, why not challenge yourself? It's capstone. So as always, you know, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Have a great week.